A historic build sparking global interest. The largest fully electric ship ever entered the Derwent River at Incat Shipyard today. I've been in the marine business for nearly 70 years uh, and uh, there's not the slightest doubt that this is the biggest moment in that 70-year uh, history. Named after a doyen of the South American theatre scene, the China Zorilla will carry passengers between Uruguay and Argentina. 130 metres long, it can carry 225 cars and 2,100 passengers. It's the ninth ship that ferry company Bucubus has purchased from Incat. And somebody has to be the first one to face this challenge and to, and, and to run the risk that this means because it's not just simple doing it. This is an example of where Tasmania needs to be in its global reputation. Uh, that high-end, premium, skilled, innovative, global leading space. The ship's hoped to reach its new home by Christmas. First it needs to be fitted out with furnishings and the 40 megawatt hours of batteries that will power it. That's roughly 500 times the battery size of an electric car. And we have built similar ships uh, like this uh, but with much smaller. So we basically build the same system in parallel now, four times in parallel. Incat boss Bob Clifford says electric is the future of short sea shipping. He says he's in negotiations for up to 10 new ships and wants to expand Incat's operations to build four ships a year. The customers are virtually crying out for an uh, electric ship. Josh Duggan, ABC News.